hop in there. Look, you got a big old leech. Hi, Rubes. Go ahead. Come on. No, no, right here. Rubes, right here. Come on. Right here. Come on. Good boy. Yeah. You little rodent. <laughs> Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am in the boat with old first mate Stink Stink, and uh, we're gonna do a couple uh, nights camping, canoe camping. So, I am out with Monty, Ruger, me, Funk, and our friend Aaron, who went with us on our Isle Royal trip. We're gonna try to catch some fish and have some fun. So, the first thing I wanna say is, I messed up a wee little bit. Um, I was supposed to pack Funk's gear bag and I forgot it. Yeah. So, um, yeah. <laughs> My bad. Luckily, I've got the tent and everything and we've got enough sleeping bag or pads and bags between the dogs and stuff That we're gonna make it work It'll still work because it's quite a drive to get home. So that's just not gonna work out So anyways, it's raining. It wasn't supposed to be raining, but it is and Funk's using my secondary rain gear Luckily, I brought it and uh, she's gonna be using a lot of my stuff that I bring as extra So anyways, we're just paddling a bit and we're gonna be setting up we've got to set up a lot of tarps because it's all raining but uh we're gonna paddle to camp settle up set up and then maybe we'll do some fishing hey funk yes why'd you forget your stuff um because <laughs> because i entrusted it to you my bad <laughs> so Funk will just not let it go that I forgot her bag. Ha, whatever. <laughs> I feel like I've done a great score. No, you've done great. It's my bad. <laughs> Funk's actually said she just wanted to try minimalist camping. And I was like, I don't know. I've never tried it. I don't know if you should. <sighs> so I'm gonna set up a tarp here because the wind's coming from this way. <sighs> these these two are working on the oh. tents. The lack of indoors. Oh yeah, you ever been camping with Nala? No. She cries to be let in the tent, and then she's unsatisfied with <laughs> the indoors that I've provided. And then she get, comes back out and she just groans and cries. So this is gonna be a little bit of a different video than you're used to because I'm not gonna do a ton of recording. I wasn't really gonna, I wasn't sure if I was gonna record at all, but then I figured, hey, you guys would appreciate little tidbits more than you would appreciate a couch video with an update. And Aaron's good cooking. So, that's what we're doing. It'll be short and sweet. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Oh, we have five sleeping pads. Everyone gets one still. We got oh. two greens, that one, and I brought a new one. And well, then which Aaron's one got. Am I wanting? You're gonna probably want a green one. So the bugs are kind of out a little bit. Yep. Didn't you say something about the bugs not? You would, they better not be out. Cause uh. 
When I said they wouldn't be out. I never really believe you at, at all, <laughs> to be fair. You never believe me? Well, I have enough experience to know when you're wrong. <laughs> Especially, like, the bugs are definitely going to be out now that rain tonight. They're going to be out tomorrow. I'm going to set up this other tarp, and then we'll check back in with you guys. Okay, so we are back in the boat because we have about 40 minutes of sunlight remaining and it just got super calm and uh, we just kind of set up a little bit of what we needed to and since it's going to rain all day tomorrow and might be a little windy, we figure we might as well give it a shot today for our fish dinner because we definitely want a fish dinner. So they're trolling one way and I'm trolling the other way and I've got two lines going. I'll show you the lure I'm using in a little bit, but it's a mini Rapala that is blue, orange, and chartreuse. So, now we're just gonna troll. And if you're wondering why I have the Rugus in my boat and uh, not the Monty, it's because the Rugus is more of a skipper. See, he's, he's a little bit more unseasoned and I'm a little more seasoned as far as being in the canoe goes. So as you can see, it's kind of tippy and so we put the easy one with Funk because Ruger's a little more random. He's gonna switch sides like, like he's doing kind of right now. Just switching side to side. And Monty, he's just, he's got one move. It's to sit down and chill, put his chin on the bar. He'll shift every once in a while. But Ruger, he's gonna shift every, every 10 seconds. Jeez, okay, all right, geez. all right, sit down, Rubes. Good boy, you gotta, you gotta sit down. I'd love it if you laid down. He just needs more time in the boat. He'll eventually learn. That right there means fish on. Yeah. Oh. oh yeah. Oh yeah. Come on, baby. Be a good one. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, I think it got off. Or it's small. I think it's still there. Could be really no, or could you be? Ooh, I can't tell. It's staying down. Might just be coming right towards me. Oh, it's a good size one. It's a good size one. Yes. <laughs> Here we go. Beautiful. That's perfect. Yes. All right. Awesome. All right, that is a beautiful rainbow trout. That is like the perfect size. So we're gonna throw this on the stringer and that is one towards dinner. We're gonna need a few for dinner. All right. Oh. I just heard him go loo, 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 from across the lake. So that, that's the uh, international symbol for fish on. So I'm gonna head over there and see what they've got. So Funk got an equal size rainbow trout. So that's two. We need like five or six for dinner. That'll be perfect. We're probably gonna have our fish dinner tomorrow. So we're gonna, what we catch tonight, we're gonna save till tomorrow. Ruger is intrigued by the fish in the water. <laughs> Ruger. Your little stinker. Oh, there we go. Ah, that's another one. Give me a good look, Charm Funk. It's okay, Rugs. Rugs is okay. It's just a fish. You're gonna eat it later, probably. Just relax. No, it's okay. Don't freak out, Brooks.
Yes! Oh, that's two. Ooh, this one's even prettier. All right. Ah, another beautiful little rainbow trout. Perfect eating size. Going on the stringer for dinner. It's just like the perfect spring trout fishing evening. Calm, glass, just chilly enough to where you want your longer layers on. No bugs. And, and you can hear and you can hear some sounds of spring going on. They'll come out more as it gets closer to dark. We've still got a uh, good 15 minutes till the sun sets. I just had a big old bite on this side. Dang it. That was a good bite too. Was they hooked. Oh, moves. What was that? We're gonna hitch another one before, before nighttime. I can feel it. I can feel it in my bones. Fishing. Yes. Yes. I must catch them all. Yes. Yes. I just saw an owl go from these trees over to there. I think we're gonna be hearing the owls tonight. I always love hearing the owls. Roots. Okay, Rube. <laughs> oh, Rube. <laughs> Here we go. I got one. There we go. Baby, come to Papa. Yes. Oh, it's a decent one. Oh, it's a decent one. Oh, that's a good one. Ooh. Oh, yeah. That's a big old trout. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, that is beautiful. That's a nice rainbow trout, oh yeah. We are going to have a delicious big old fish dinner. We almost got enough for our fish dinner now. I think I'm going to call it for the evening. And if they catch one or two more, we are gonna have plenty of fish to feast. Oh yeah, oh, oh, no, you ain't going anywhere. Oh, that's a beautiful rainbow trout. Oh, yeah. We got this here electric chainsaw. This here firewood. We're going to chop some up here. Actually, we're going to need some kindling. Can you grab some oh, little sticks. You know, an electric chainsaw just makes firewood processing just so delightful. It really does. Did you crumple any up or scrape any? No. All right, I won't give you. Any... <laughs> that, that was the only trip. That was the only tip you get. A little chilly. Oh, a little bit I was getting chilly. Yeah, I was getting chilly, so I wouldn't gather firewood. What's the crumpling? You just get some like get birch bark dust. In there. Yeah, all up in there. there. Meat. Meat. Got this funk. Yeah. <laughs> do people pull it? Is that what you can do that? Do? Mm, they start here? Yeah. No, I don't like that. So take... Here. 
Well, put this I'm underneath. Not... Put this underneath. All that. Yes. So, well, there you go. Now plant your fire steel right into that wood. And make it so you can press. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Get it, yeah. So, like, yeah, see, it's not doing that. So, you want to get it. Clamp it in there. There you go. Yeah. Oh, I feel like if I would have had it nice and mm -hmm. powdery. Yeah, you always want, I, I always like to make it so my fire steel is very just sturdy. Ooh, get your, get your fire steel sturdy. It's hard on us. Out of there. Try it, stop. <laughs> Look at it. I have created fire. <laughs> I have created fire. I am woman. Look this way. Do a map, he doesn't just smother it. There you go. Are you ready for a late dinner, Aaron? Yeah. Okay. It's the only kind of dinners we have. Yeah, we're gonna have woods. a late dinner tonight. Okay, so we've got this d delicious, beautiful piece of meat, and uh, Aaron is gonna tell us how we're cooking it tonight. Yes, it's not only is it a beef tenderloin; it's just the center cut of the beef tenderloin. Mm. Mm. Oh yes. And we're making, um, we're using a technique called lomo el trapo, mm. which is, I believe, Argentinian. Okay. Mm, definitely South American. Not 100% sure the origins of it, but... I believe all those things. We're going to take a clean towel and get it wet, damp, wring it out. And then we're going to cover it in about half an inch of sea salt, kosher salt, like the big flakes. And then you take it, wrap it up nice and tight. Uh, maybe put a few herbs in there along. Yes, very nice. Pet the meat. Mm. And we're going to wrap it up in, in our cloth with the salt all encasing it. Use some butcher's twine to seal it up tight. And we're going to put it directly onto the coals. Oh, yeah. And we're going to burn the whole towel. Get the meat up to about 100 degrees. And then we'll take it off the fire. Leave it in its casing and let it get up to medium rare temp. And then we will crack open our casing and... Hope we did it right. All right, let's do it. I'm excited for that. I've been dreaming about this for a few days now. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. It's gonna be so good. With kosher salt. Oh yeah. Not too little salt. Not just the right amount of salt. All Too of salt. much salt. <laughs> All of the salt. Oh, that's so much salt. Mm. We're gonna brush most of it off. This is why we're here. And I, <laughs> I've never done this before. You should go more if it's for a half inch. Yeah, half inch is big. Yeah, yeah half, half inch, inch is inch thick. Is like thick. That's definitely too much salt, but like the right amount. <laughs> the right amount of too much salt, tenderloin center cut piece. Oh yeah. All right. Happiness is this right here. Oh. You want any parsley? Those are parts right there. Eh, no, okay, this will be good. Okay. So excited for this. Okay, now I can use some help with the twine. I've never used butcher's twine. 
It's like if the Michelin Man was made out of beef tenderloin. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I wonder if I can... Funk used the old beef tenderloin mummy nut. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing showing. Right? I look, okay. I mean, it looks, Got all the meat wrapped up in there? It looks wonderful to me. Oh, let's just throw that. <laughs> let's just throw that thing in the fire. All right. Oh, oh there we go. All right. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Not too much salt. Not too little salt. Just the right amount of salt. There you go. That's the right amount of salt. Give me a little more black pepper. How are we doing on our time? It's been 10 minutes. Has it? Great, great. Yeah, I'm worried about this falling over. Well, this well. is part of the challenge. If you spill that water, you put out the whole fire and you ruin everything, so <laughs> don't do it. I agree. Oh, it's nice and hard, you guys. I am. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> We got plenty of time. Okay. It's only at like 55. All right, good. Ooh. 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 We lost this during the process. A little bit of a... Uh... Lost part of the casing, but she's gonna be nice and charred. All right, that is our meat right there is resting. We've got sliced zucchini with salt and pepper. Cooking up, almost done. And then we have baby reds, instant mashed potatoes, right there. I might have got a little too close to the edge. What is it? Yeah, she's at 140. 140? Ooh. Oh my yeah, gosh. Baby. Oh my yeah. gosh. Oh my god. All right, let's get her, All get right, her on let's... the operating table. Ooh. Oh. Alright, what are we going to do with all this? Um, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Mm, Could have used a serrated knife. Alright, that's going to be a little bit more done. Well, that's okay. Because it's toward the... Toward the center there. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Maybe a, it looks a little more done than I'd like, but yeah, it's though, a little so. bit. But hey, it's also cooking on a fire. Yeah, I'm not gonna complain at all. That looks so good. All this means is that we get to try it again. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Well, let's we got to have a bite without anything on yeah, it yeah. first. I agree. I'm just, yeah. I want a little a slab. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> Ooh. Mm. Ooh. Oh my god. Mhm. Mm Is it good? Oh yeah. Oh my god. Oh, it's mm. so good. Oh, sorry. Mm. A little slice here. I've already destroyed a few pieces. <laughs> and then we've got some chimichurri sauce that goes mm. all over. I don't know how much I'm supposed to use, but I'm going to use extra because... Well, if you like the flavor of the meat, don't use too much. The boys are waiting for their food. I'm about to try this with some chimichurri sauce. Oh my God. Little, little mashed potatoes on there. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. Aaron. <laughs> mm. Mm. And this is why I get to come on camping trips. I'm just like never going camping without you now. 
Mm. That chimichurri is spicier than I thought it would be. But yeah, I think the red pepper flake mm -hmm. also kind of got stronger as they sat. Yeah. It's definitely spicy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, fine. Come on in. Come on in. Cute little creatures. These creatures just <laughs> All right, critter. Make yourself comfy. Go ahead. That's, it's there you go. Okay, so food was delicious. I've got to use Monty's old sleeping bag to sleep. Funk's getting mine tonight because I forgot her stuff. But uh, yeah, it's time to pass out. I've had that. You can't have my pants. You don't get my pants. You forgot to bring your own pants. <laughs> oh. I got to sleep with the two stinky doggies. Right? Right, stinky doggies? You just want to go outside? Okay, well, it's time to get up. Right, Rogus? Rogus is ready. Okay. Rogus is definitely ready to go outside. As you can see, it's a little rainy. Uh, Aaron and Funk are out there getting some firewood to get a fire going, cook some breakfast. I'm in charge of making the tarps all. So we got a nice little, the wind's coming from this way, so I'm trying to make a wind block here. See? Stay it, I guess. You want this bundle of dry stuff that Aaron so finally collected? Yeah. Bring it over here and throw her on. Breathe. <laughs> Oops. We, we need more sticks. <laughs> no, it all birch bark. Birch. <laughs> all birch bark. <laughs> it's better. <laughs> uh, we'll keep this guy going all day. Ruger, you look a little bit like a wet rat. Yes, you do. A wet rat terrier. You look like a little bit of a rat right now. Are you hungry? You want breakfast? You want brekkie brek? Break your fast for some breakfast? Yeah, yeah. We're having potatoes and bacon for breakfast because, uh, why Funk? Because Matthew forgot the eggs. <laughs> he must have set them next to my bag. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Monty? Is it wet? Montigua. Montigua? Rugus? Rugus. refuses to lay anywhere I tell him to lay. 
Yeah, Monty, he only wants to lay where Monty wants to lay. Yeah, like that's what I say. Give me some bacon. No. Close up the white onion. <gasps> Wait. What? I'm just kidding, go ahead. <laughs> oh yeah. Funks put some salt and pepper in there with the white onions and a chunk of butter. Potatoes, onions, and bacon for breakfast. Mmm. Bacon. Bacon. Making potatoes down south, watching Funk stir them potatoes and onions, yeah. Oh, Rugus! Now ah, you're truly a wet rat. <laughs> you wet, wet rodent. It's rainy. <laughs> hey, yeah, he. That is surprising. He didn't bark at it and he just went for it. Rugus. Oh, this is not good. Now he's just soaking wet. Oh, oh no! Monty, 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 wait! Here, Monty, you want to stick, Monty? He has to be in the water. Monty. Well, now Ruger's as wet as he can be. Tell him he's wet and dirty, Monty. Tell him it's wrong. It looks yummy. Burger, stop eating those sticks. Because that's never worked. <laughs> Monty. Monty, tell Burger to stop eating those sticks. Like this? Like, like this? Shake it out. There you go. Good yeah, boy. you're a dirty, stinky doggy, Rugi. He looks very happy and, and like he's having a very fun time. That is the definition of a dirty dog. You'd be surprised by the time like bedtime comes though. Like, I mean, granted, if it doesn't. If it rains all day. It's hard to. But sometimes it'll look like that. By the end of the night, there's a soft, white, fluffy. We've got a third tarp up so we can stand around the fire. Got the tri tarp set up. Bunks cooking the potatoes. They're getting close. Yeah, these are done. It's just the bacon. The bacon? Huh? Baby carrot in there? Yeah. New one. Oh, that's baby carrot. Aaron is going out there to catch a fish. Good luck. Ha ha dee ho. Catch them all. Okie dokes, I am back in the boat. Been doing a lot of relaxing today. I took a, a midday nap. It's been all day rain and it lightened up for a little bit and Aaron went back out fishing and then I started to get the itch and now I'm back out fishing. I'd like another couple for dinner. I want the dogs to each get their own fish and then I'd want us to have plenty of fish. So, why is this? It 
It's been a little while since I've camped in all day rain. It's where it's just steady all day. But we had this trip planned for a little while and it was a little cold last week and super windy so it would have been not good for fishing. So we had to push it back and then this week it was just like, well let's go rain or shine. And I'm glad we did. I always have more fun when you have adverse weather. It's always nice to have nice weather but I love this rainy stuff. We've got a nice tarp set up. And like I said, um, this is a different style of video because I'm not focusing on recording as much. I do that every once in a while when I go with other people, I focus more on the trip and you know, the moment, and I don't worry about the camera as much, and that's this, this style trip. But it's still fun to share. I'll share what little I record, and then I'll go back to other trips where I'll focus on recording, and when I go out with just Monty, so that's just, you know, different flavors, different styles. It's all good fun. We got a fish on. <laughs> you're just, you're my luck charm. You just watched that one hit. Yep. <laughs> Where we go? Come on, baby. There we go. Another tasty little rainbow. Ooh, and he just got off. All right, I'm gonna get this guy on the stringer here. <laughs> he just flopped out. I went to do this and hook him, and he started flopping off the stringer and just. Let's see if we can trick him again. No, I don't think he's gonna be fighting anything soon. Dang it! And you watched it happen. I did. <laughs> Dang it! Well. Try to flutter it a little bit. Keep reeling it though, like give us some jerks. And then just cast again. Dang, nice. Well, you got him to bite. Did a little bit more relaxing. Now we're heading out for the evening fish. You see those birds circling, Funk? Where? Right in front of my boat. Two bald eagles? Very quiet. She's hunting trout. She get one? Maybe a stick? You're still stinky. No. Nothing about me stinks. Said that one? Kevin, get in the car. Trying, get in the car. My hands are so dry. Woo, 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 Chef Iran yes. is, is working on a fish sauce. Chef Funkadelic is working on the Brussels sprouts. 
I'm going to be working on the rice. Roast the pan before we add all the food to it. Are you guys cool if we just use like five sticks of butter for dinner? Apparently. <laughs> That's two sticks, right? Probably. Well, there's another half stick in there. <laughs> Throw some Montreal in there. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah. That butter sauce, though. <coughs> Salt. For your Brussels. Good. Are they good? They're so good. How good? The best. The best? Alright, tomatoes are going in. Tomatoes? Oh my gosh, let's get some of that. Meters. Demeters. Sliced cherry tomatoes. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. We want a little more sauce, but oh, yeah. plenty. Guys. All right. Yes. This butter, <laughs> butter sauce all over. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> You're ruining every shot. <laughs> yeah. Parsley. <laughs> oh. All right. There we go. All right. Let's eat. Like the boys I... got their treats. Don't worry. I feel like I trolled pretty perfect there. At the end, I was just like, I did everything perfect. I was like, if there was a fish mm. here, like, I would catch it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, I just can't believe this is real life. <laughs> I like the fresh tomatoes in there. Good suggestion. Yeah, it works. That's some good stuff. I'm gonna turn off that bright light now. Yeah, my chins do they look good? This is a very flattering angle. This is the angle that we want. Hello. Yeah. Anyways, okay, food was delicious. The puppies are finally tired and it is time to go to bed. So, I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good night, everybody. How'd you get out there, Rukis? Monty? Monty, come here, Monty. Monty. Monty, come here. There he is. Hi, Monty. There he is. There he is. Hi, Monty. Okay, see ya. Hey. Look at that. Oh, it's a dry square. You're a dry square. You're a dry square. <laughs> you guys have fun? Yeah. Good boy. Good, the rudest. 
Okay, so we're back in the boat and we just got a short paddle back to the car. I know it wasn't a crazy trip or anything, but I wasn't, like I said, I wasn't planning on recording, so we just gave you the tidbits. So anyways, just that little short paddle, we'll be back in the car. So as always, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you wanna see more stuff like this, hit that subscribe button. And I'll catch you guys at the next video.